So in this lecture, we'll quickly talk about the growth of precipitate. Once the so-called nucleus form of the precipitate either homogeneously or heterogeneously, the next would be the natural growth process. Okay, so this lecture talks uh, a little in about this topic. The growth of precipitate. The first step, of course, before the growth happens is the nucle nucleation process. And the nuclear would have certain shape in the solid. And uh, typically, they are bounded by combination of different uh, types of interfaces. And as we learned before, the interface between the precipitate and the matrix or host material could be coherent, means what? They match in very well. Geometrically, lattice prim parameter, lattice structure, they match very well. Semi-coherent means what? Um, match pretty well, but occasionally you have to put a dislocation there. How frequent Deter is determined by the lattice parameter match, all completely incoherent. All these together sh determines the shape of the nucleus. Okay, and then remember in the earlier lecture we said that when we treat the problem for most simplest case, we were treating it as if it's a sphere. But remember that's only a oversimplification. Okay, and precipitate shape in the growth stage. How would the shape change during the growth stage? It will be determined by the relative so called growth rate, how fast it grows, relative growth rate along those different uh, directions. Okay, all different uh, types of interfaces. If we are something like this, initially look like this, and then quite often people find the curved in interface grow pretty fast, and those curved interfaces are quite often so called uh, incoherent. They don't even try to match. They will just grow as fast as possible. On the other hand, these types of flat interface quite often a uh, latched growth they are have a low probability they grow this way but they grow they would grow pretty slow as a result the end shape would look like plate-like or needle-like shape make sense the flat one grows much slower and uh, that's what we said coherent or semi-coherent those flat ones remember it's so coherent between matrix and the precipitate along a certain crystal orientation interface plane. Those things typically have low mobility, or another way to say they grow very slowly through the so-called large mechanism. You can only add atoms well. Add here, and quite often that's a slow process, low probability, and they would grow slower. On the other hand, the other types of interface, the curved ones, quite often, they become part of the sphere, okay? They are incoherent because they are not really trying to match any crystal plane. They would grow much faster, and the, these two together determines the shape of the precipitate. Quite often, either plate-like grow in its radius, or a needle-like grow in its length. 